Testing one, two. Good Tuesday morning, everybody, live and direct from Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a look at what's going on with the current situation where weather is concerned across the Mid-South. This is our exclusive video weather blog called Weather Overtime. Welcome to the show. If you'd like to see more about what's going on in the Mid-South area, website right up there at wrag.com slash weather is the place to go to for what's going on. Or again, over on those icons that you see, <coughs> excuse me, into the area for today. If you're going to be checking out stuff on social media, we've got tons of information available out there. Quiet morning in the Mid-South for the most part. We again have those flood warnings taking place. The areas in green across eastern Arkansas, west Tennessee, northwest Mississippi, along and on either side of the Mississippi River. Arkansas getting the lion's share of what's going on with the flood warnings is all that water from about two weeks ago it makes its way on down the channel and heads on down into the Mississippi River. We have crested in Memphis. We'll take a look at the river levels coming up here in just a little bit, so definitely want to stay tuned for more on that. We've got a new storm system heading our way from out west. It's a little bit mottled right now. There's not a lot of activity going on just yet where we are, but over the next couple of days, we will begin to see more chances of showers and thunderstorms over parts of the Rockies and into around the Great Plains states as this next system gets a little bit more organized and begins to swing on through the area. So good news for us, at least for right now. That storm system's energy, we've got high pressure in the area for today. Things are fairly quiet, but as we look a little bit farther out to the west, we have a new storm system heading our way, and that energy in the storm is going to be, again, giving us a possibility of some more showers and thunderstorms into the Mid-South. So we will be watching that with a lot of interest to see what comes our direction. So stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 to see what's going on there. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on across the area where it comes to anything in the way of showers or thunderstorms, or pardon me, on uh, earthquakes information at this time. We did have one large earthquake last night just under the Mississippi River, a 3.2 that happened very early this morning at about 521. That, again, a decently large earthquake from what we've seen for a while, and it looks to be a part of a cluster of earthquakes that have been happening between Wilson City, Missouri, and Bardwell, Kentucky. That is where we're seeing, again, uh, the 3.2 that happened last night. If you'd felt this, uh, please report that to the Earthquake Center, the Center for Earthquake Research and Information available at the Center for Earthquake Research and Information at the University of Memphis. Be a good opportunity to be able to see uh, more about what's going on there when it comes to earthquakes. And also, you can get more information from the United States Geological Survey about everything that goes on uh, in that location. I believe that's the same one. Yes, 3.2 uh, earthquake. And if you did feel this, click on the Did You Feel It app. And if you can uh, tell the researchers what you felt, that would be kind of cool to participate in citizen science. You get to tell where, when, what, things like that of what you may have felt at that point in time. So something to think about there if you have the opportunity to check in with them on that. Sun is quiet. One sunspot to talk about and nothing major happening at this time. No problems with radio communications across the globe as we're just not seeing a lot of activity out there. We may see, again, the possibility of some stronger storms later on this week. Looking at the National Weather Service in Memphis, the area shaded in blue on the area close to Arkansas. Southerly winds could be a bit of a problem Wednesday afternoon as winds could be a little bit more breezy. The area in red, a few strong to severe thunderstorms are going to be possible throughout the area Friday into Saturday. Not the greatest chance at this point in time, but it will still be, again, something we do need to pay attention to. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more information on that. Visible satellite picture, again, showing a beautiful start to the day. Just a few high, thin clouds drifting on through, and really just not much more than that. This particular view, courtesy of Penn State's Meteorology Group. And if you'd like to see more about what's going on in the Mid-South area, including some of those high, thin clouds drifting overhead, all you have to do is go to our webpage at wrhe.com slash webcams. Windyke Country Club, golfers out and about, and the golf carts lined up and ready to go across the area. So looking like a good day for golf in the Mid-South area if you're heading out to do some of that out there. Again, wrhe.com slash webcams if you'd like to see more there. Mississippi River on its way downwards. The crest has occurred and is now making its way down toward the Gulf of Mexico, passing Tunica and going to be going past Helena over the next couple of days, eventually down toward Vicksburg and the uh, area around Lake Pontchartrain, getting all that water heading down that direction. But for Memphis and much of the area, everything has improved slightly, so it looks like we're going to be seeing the river dropping into the next several days, going below action stage within about a week or so. And if you'd like to know more about the different flood stages available, 
across the area into the rest of the Mid-South, please drop by uh, water.weather.gov for more information. And you can tell from the National Weather Service what's going on at Reservoirs, Creek, Streams, the Nankana, the Lusahatchee, the Mississippi, the St. Francis, the Cache, the Black, the White Rivers. All those are listed here. And you can get that information free of charge here, again, at water.weather.gov. Not seeing a lot of activity, a little bit more in the way of showers or thunderstorms back to the north of us into around Kansas and just around Oklahoma and Texas. A few brief sprinkles showing up. More possibilities of that into the rest of the day today mainly back to the west of us. We're not expecting anything in the way of rainfall at this time. We do see that storm system again getting more organized as it gets a little bit closer to us into tomorrow morning, and that's also where we start to see the possibility of more rain getting decently close to the Mid-South area. That's something we're going to have to watch out for as we go into tomorrow afternoon and evening. By Wednesday evening, the showers and thunderstorms pushing their way into the area late, and Thursday looks to be fairly soggy as we get more chances of showers and thunderstorms to be sticking around into the course of the rest of the week, into the early portion of the weekend, possibly. We'll talk about that in our forecast. I'm going to start with the high temperatures for today. Numbers for today, again, not doing too bad. We'll be back into around the mid to upper 80s for high temperatures, both north and south of I-40. So we should be seeing some very warm conditions out there throughout the course of the rest of the day. So if you have any plans for being outdoors, that's going to be the main web story for main weather story on the web for today. Uh, no chance of rainfall expected at this time, and mainly clear skies, a few partly cloudy skies out there. It looks like about a 30% coverage chance for that, and winds will be out of the south. A little breezy, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Heading into tonight, temperatures for lows dropping only into the mid to upper 60s, so some very mild conditions out there into this evening. Wednesday's highs just about as warm, mid to upper 80s across much of the area, and winds once again will be breezy. These are the wind speeds south at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. This is the wind gust potential by tomorrow afternoon and pushing 30 miles per hour in the green shaded area across parts of Arkansas and into areas west of the Mississippi River. So anything back to the west of the Mississippi could be looking at some fairly breezy winds across the plains of eastern Arkansas, and that'll continue right on into around Wednesday night. The chance, <coughs> excuse me again, of showers and thunderstorms moving in by afternoon and evening, and by early evening on Wednesday night, that chance of showers and thunderstorms makes its way across the Mid-South, sticking around into Thursday morning, low temperatures Thursday morning in the upper 60s to right around 70 degrees. Those southerly winds will be keeping the temperatures up by just a bit, and those winds will continue right on into Thursday. So breezy Thursday coming up as well. High temperatures on Thursday in the mid to upper 80s. And looking at that chance of showers and thunderstorms pretty much widespread across much of the entire Mid-South area. Thursday night, low temperatures continue mild, upper 60s to around lower 70s. 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms through the afternoon and evening right on into Friday morning. With showers and thunderstorms sticking around, it looks like until Friday. And that's when the worst of the worst comes on through to where we could see some uh, scattered heavier activity in the dark shaded green category up there around uh, Poinsett County in Arkansas all the way over to Gibson County in Tennessee. Areas north of that line could be looking at some stronger activity coming on through. And chances of rainfall looks like we'll be remaining in the Mid-South as we go into Saturday morning. So the weekend could start off with some rain. Highs on Friday, mid-80s, lows Friday night in the upper 60s. And heading for high temperatures on Saturday, back in the lower to mid 80s and again another chance of showers and thunderstorms could be sticking around for Saturday afternoon. Low temperatures Saturday night dropping into the lower to mid 60s so a little bit cooler not by much and then more chances of showers and thunderstorms into the weekend so outdoor plans better plan on a plan B indoors especially graduation ceremonies coming up that could be a bit of a problem and a quick peek at Sunday high temperatures a little cooler back in the upper 70s and chances of rain start to ebb a little bit, but should be sticking around through the weekend, it looks like, in some form or fashion. So more chances of rainfall out across much of the area for the rest of the forecast. And that, again, could be a bit of a problem for outdoor activities this next weekend. So keep it tuned for more information there. We'll have more details on what you can see in the skies tonight, hopefully staying clear. And this may be the last good stargazing day for the next couple of days. So this is again going to be a good possibility to take a look at what's going on in the skies out there before the clouds and the rain set in. So stay tuned for more coming up on our exclusive astronomy blog. It's called Skyblog 3, so definitely want to stick around for more information on that and find out more about what you can see overhead. Really great hobby to get involved in. A 
astronomy is a very cool thing to see what you can see above the skies of Earth and out into the galaxy and everywhere else. So if you'd like to know more, stay tuned for more coming up on Skyblog 3. That also will be available at WRAG.com slash weather. That'll wrap it up for this edition of News Channel 3. Exclusive video weather blog for the Mid-South area, weather overtime. Questions, concerns, comments, ideas, email address right here, austin.onic at wrg.com. Forecast information here, social media information down there. And, of course, if you'd like to see anything else about the weather in the Mid-South, feel free to contact me, and so we'll see what we can do for you to help you out on that. Live and direct from out and about in the Mid-South, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for today's latest video weather blog, Weather Overtime. And stay tuned for more coming up on News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the day.